Okay, go ahead. My name's Dennis Midget. Last name is spelled M-I-D-Y-E-T-T. -T. I'm going on my over 40th year in the Rose Parade this year. And I've been a rod sculptor, we call them, for all of that time. I started as a teenager as an a artist right out of the Yes, rod sculptor. And we do all the basic shapes that you see in the building. And everything from, I've done everything from large hippopotamuses this year to 50-foot firebirds, and you'll see those in the parade. And of course, the, everything you see around here is done out of the same materials. And it says quarter-inch steel rod, hand-bent. There's no machines used other than the welders. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, everything is then covered with an aluminum window screen. And we shoot a, a vinyl webbing over it. We call it cocooning. And then we color code everything. And it's pretty much a decorate by number from there. How long does the process take to get the basic shape of whichever particular float? Well, from drawing to almost ready for flowers, approximately five months on average. And how many different designers work on one float? Like it, it was standing me working on the beginning, then you on the metal sculptures and everything, and the floral designer, and how many designers? Whoa, gosh, there's probably... <laughs> Good question. That's a great question, uh, including the floral designers, uh, let's say on the dole entry. I bet you there's, there's 50 different... Okay. Yeah, from the two-dimensional drawing that the designer sells in the, in the sales room. Um, oh yeah, there's there's so many different people that get their hands on it to make it come to life. The designers that sell them in the in the sales room, they're working on a two-dimensional basis. So I'm the person that understands three-dimensional, and I convert it from two-dimensional into three-dimensional. So your job actually ends after the fifth month and then you just get to enjoy it. I get to start another one. <laughs> so you full time year round. Full time year round, yeah. So basically you start the new floats for next year already. In Probably February? we might have two months off. Okay. Uh, that's about it. But uh, a company this size, uh, I don't even think they have that much time. Yet. But uh, they won't need my services for at least another two months until they get some floats sold and get them on the paper, and then they need the sculptors to come in and start doing the work that I do. And how many floats a year do you work on? Let's see, I've only worked on three this year, and those were already in Pasadena from another float company, and they were right next door here all year. Um, so it's nice to work with a new company in the Rose Parade. He's a young man that just started the company, and it's good to help him. I'm bringing some of my experience to his company, and he also loves my sculpting. And so it's kind of a good mix there. Um, but Timmy, I, 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 I'm hoping that I can come back this year and do some sculpting for Timmy at Fiesta this year, too. Um, I've been offered many jobs over this year over in Pasadena for another large company, Phoenix Decorating in Pasadena. I just didn't have the time to do that. I do wish I had some more hands to, to help me do it. But I'm clicking 63 years old almost, and then. I have to kind of gauge how much I can do in a day. <laughs> What's the most unusual float or the largest project you've ever worked on, or both? It's probably, uh, it's probably the, uh, I did a Wells Fargo entry back in the 80s. And everything we did for Wells Fargo had to be a very authentic California history. Mm -hmm. So they wanted a clipper ship called the California. Oh and it was coming into uh, San Francisco Harbor. And on the clipper ship, we had masts that were 50 feet tall. We had over 150 people on the clipper ship coming into harbor, and on the deck we had another float in front of it that was San Francisco Harbor with the stagecoach, a full rain of horses, and everybody was waiting with a band and waving for the boat to come into harbor, and it was a complete historic scene there. Uh, that was probably the most complex thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> but not only the riders, we had people doing handstands at 50 feet in the air on the mass of that clipper ship. Uh, and I was in I was in a captain's costume that was piloting this clipper ship around the corner from Orange Grove onto Colorado that morning. And I was trying to go so slow as I came around the corner, and I knew that if I tapped those air brakes, I would probably fling that young man off that <laughs> top mass like that, like a toothpick. 
but no, it, it went through the parade. We won some beautiful awards with it. But that's probably the biggest project I've ever done in my whole life. Yeah.